Hi, I'm Sarah Higgins. I'm ruminant and equine veterinary manager with MSD Animal Health. Bovine respiratory disease is a complex disease entity that culminates in variable interactions between the animal, the pathogens, which is the viruses, bacteria and parasites, and the environment that they're in. Bovine respiratory disease is an umbrella term of which pneumonia is the main feature. Respiratory disease continues to be the most significant cause of death in cattle greater than one month of age in Ireland. This graph illustrates that respiratory infections accounted for 33% of deaths in calves between one and five months of age on post-mortem in regional veterinary labs across the country in 2020. What causes bovine respiratory disease in calves? Well, often there can be mixed infections. It can involve viruses such as RSV, PI3 and coronavirus, bacteria such as Mannheimia hemolytica or Pastorella multicida, and also parasites such as lungworm, Dictyocolus viviparis. And Mannheimia hemolytica is a number one bacterial agent associated with bovine respiratory disease in calves in Ireland. What is the impact of bovine respiratory disease on productivity? There is long-term repercussions of bovine respiratory disease on productivity. And for example, if a dairy heifer calf experienced bovine respiratory disease in the first eight weeks of life, they can have a reduced milk yield of 525 litres in their first lactation. And they can also have a delay in their first lactation by 15 days. And from a beef point of view, Animals that present with overt clinical signs, so ones that display the classical respiratory clinical signs such as coughing, fevers, increased respiration rate, they can take 59 days longer to finish and those that are subclinical that have no overt clinical signs can take 33 days longer to finish. Mannheimia hemolytica is the number one bacterial agent associated with bovine respiratory disease in calves in Ireland. And Mannheimia hemolytica lives in healthy calves in the back of their throat, in the nasopharynx and the tonsillar crypts. And if there is a primary viral infection present, or if calves are stressed at periods such as deep budding, weaning time, or also mixing of groups, that bacteria can colonize, they can move down the respiratory tract into the lungs and cause pulmonary lesions and the clinical signs associated with respiratory disease in calves. What can be done against bovine respiratory disease in calves? Well, there has to be a multifaceted approach to control, which would include housing, biosecurity measures, hygiene measures, good farm management, and also vaccination. And vaccination is a vital component of these control measures against respiratory disease in calves. Farmers can protect their calves against Mannheimia hemolytica and RSV and PI3 by vaccinating their calves with Bovillus bovipast RSP. This provides the broadest protection on the market against Mannheimia hemolytica and protects against RSV and PI3. Bovillus bovipast RSP can be administered to calves from around two weeks of age. The primary course involves two doses of five mils under the skin, four weeks apart. And you can also give a booster shot of this vaccine two weeks prior to a known stressful period. Why should you consider using Bovillus bovipast RSP? This vaccination provides the broadest protection on the market against Mannheimia hemolytica as it covers serotype A1 and A6. Serotype A6 should not be underestimated as one study has shown that 63% of the isolates were associated with serotype A6. Another reason to consider Bovillus bovipast RSP, it has IRP technology and it also has a concurrent use claim with IBR marker live that can be administered on the same day as Bovillus bovipast RSP. IRP technology. Iron is required for Mannheimia hemolytica to multiply. When Mannheimia hemolytica reaches the lungs of animals, iron regulated proteins on their surface absorb iron. If cattle are vaccinated with bovipast RSP before Mannheimia hemolytica reaches the lungs, antibodies are produced against IRPs. These antibodies attach to the IRPs on the surface of Mannheimia hemolytica. These antibodies reduce the ability of the bacteria to absorb iron. This results in the failure of Mannheimia hemolytica to multiply, therefore reducing clinical signs associated with respiratory disease. For more information on bovine respiratory disease and MSD, animal health, BRD vaccine range, you can visit bovillus.ie or contact your own veterinary practitioner.